wanted to take a minute today and talk to you guys about uh, wildlife and the cold. Um, as you can probably tell, it's pretty cold out here today, and it's supposed to be cold for like the next 20 days at least, they're saying. I think it's about 15 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is pretty cold Celsius. <laughs> but anyway, I want to show you what uh, one of the things you have to think about is animals uh, cannot get water uh, to drink when it's really cold like this, and the ponds are frozen up, and the rivers are frozen up, and there's no snow. So uh, it can be a very dangerous situation for them, not just because of the cold, but because they get really thirsty. You guys that have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have another pond on the other side of the house. It has a, a little waterfall stream, and it, that always stays open. And the, uh, the wildlife that I feed, I have birds and stuff around here, and my cats. They can drink out of it. Well, this pond down here freezes up solid. They, nothing can get water out of it. And in fact, usually by springtime, uh, when it does thaw after being frozen over for a couple months, I have a lot of dead fish in there. So I'm thinking that maybe it's not getting enough oxygen in the winter time. So what I did is I recently installed a, a, a pump that takes water from one end of the pond, pumps it over to the other. That's going to recirculate it for me. But I also put a venturi on it, and uh, so it makes a lot of bubbles, so it oxygenates the water. Plus, it's going to keep an area open so that the uh, wildlife can still can drink out of it, the birds and the raccoons and the possums or whatever's around. So let me show you what I did there. Again, I just did this like a week ago. It's a little bit of a mess. I didn't have time to uh, cover over the pipes before the ground froze solid, and it's frozen solid right now. My intake from my pump is way over there, and if you look, you can see a pipe underwater here, and I'm gonna paint that in the spring, and I have just a spa pump right here for now. Sucks it up here, shoots it out this way, to a venturi and what a venturi does is when the water passes by it sucks air down into it so when it comes out here the, uh, the water is highly oxygenated and you can see it doesn't freeze I mean this hasn't frozen over here yet and I suspect it'll always be open to a certain extent and <laughs> that cool looking <laughs> and uh, you know the, like I said the birds fly down here and they get drinks and stuff I've been watching them so uh, isn't that pretty cool? I also have a small bowl up by the house, one of those heated ones for cats that I leave outside for the animals. But I just thought you might get a kick out of seeing this setup. If there's any of you guys that want me to show you how I built the Venturi and why it works and how it works, I'll gladly do another video for you. Um, there's a bunch of videos online, but I tell you, there's one thing that you have to know, or you're probably going to need to know, because I had to learn the hard way, that they don't tell you. So if you want to learn that one secret trick, let me know and we'll do a video and I'll show you how to make a venturi. It's really pretty simple, but no one mentioned it. It's crazy. That's the way YouTube is, though. They always leave out one important step. All right, we're going to go do something else. This is kind of interesting right here. You can see there's a little uh, group of trees, and uh, they've been cut off. And what that is is where a beaver chewed them down. And if the trees fell over there, and it looks like he drug most of them off. And of course, they eat the bark. You can see we was chewing on that one, trying to cut it into pieces too. And he probably took the uh, the whole trees underwater, and they'll feed on them because they can come out of their den, which will be in the bank around here somewhere, or maybe on the other side since this is all rocks. They'll actually come out of their dens and go under the ice, where they have all these sticks underwater, like big piles of sticks, and they'll uh, they can eat them underwater. Or we'll pull them back up in their den. I'm not sure how they do it, but. Uh, that's where they keep their food in the winter. It's actually under the ice. So that's what they're doing. Isn't that pretty cool? Look at those things. Look, at, look how they're circular. Isn't that weird? Alright, that's enough talking. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked my video and you want to subscribe. We'll see you later.